Hello everyone and this is Inayat Mir with my new video series SQL always on scenario failover clustering. So this is a screenshot from my document where you can see my four node environment SVR1, 2, 3 and 4 domain is aodc.aoha.local which stands for always on high availability. So let's go into the real task. From the middle, I will show you my servers SRV1 to SRV4 with my domain. So we have actually five computers up and running at this time. I have an account. Account name is student which is a domain admins member and also in each of my SQL server this account is a local administrator. So I am going to show you the whole preview here uh, with the environment. So offline I have installed a SQL server on all four computers which is SQL 14 SQL Server 2014. We have a domain available from server manager from local server. You can see the host name and a domain name. Also, you can see the IP address and IP scheme you have seen already uh, in my initial page here. I will show you the document as well. This is just a overview from Active Directory always on high availability aoha dot local so you have this domain uh, nothing specifically done in the domain except we have joined all members to the domain we have installed a sql server uh, this is the account which you are going to use throughout this video series i have uh, designed five labs with every single step from a to z so we can log into each server one by one as student student is a name of one of the accounts which is actually acting as an administrator as a local administrator and as a domain administrator as well so because i gave a membership of domain admins to this account so we are in srv4 so one by one we are going to log into all of these servers just to show you the availability of these servers again these all four servers are member of my domain in total five computers from a server manager we can go into computer management console uh, to make sure that you have uh, a student in local admin group in each of the nodes so you can look at it but from server manager you simply can verify that that none of these four servers are in a work group so we want to make sure that everything which is a prerequisite is done uh, properly so all of the four nodes are up and running uh, but we are not actually in cluster right now because we need to install a fair hour clustering feature first on all of these four nodes but uh, before that we want to make sure that we do not have any issue uh, with the login credentials uh, whichever account you want to use you can use in production you are not going to use a straight uh, enterprise admin account you uh, will or you should minimize uh, privileges to the user uh, maybe you want to limit a user to domain admins which is good enough if nothing is in development environment so which is good enough to uh, let you do the normal operations of, of active directory so i am going to check one by one to each computer under local admin i want to make sure that a student is available so you can remotely launch computer management from your other three 
server so i'm in svr srv2 and i am verifying that my administrators group contains student now i'm verifying in srv3 under your system tools you have to go local users and group you have to double click on administrators group to make sure that student is available once is available you are good to go this is my fourth server of course same procedure same method and i do have my student account a local admin in all of those four nodes so i can actually manage my uh, failover clustering feature from all of those four computers the next thing is that you have to install fail our clustering on each node so let's go and install first on my srv1 then we're gonna move on to srv2 3 and 4 but uh, i want to stop after installing on the first node just for learning purposes for everyone so once you have this fail over clustering feature installed yeah i don't need to see my notification so you can uh, get rid of it so from tools you will see your fail over cluster manager because we actually have added additional uh, management tool so you can see this console here fail over management console so here you can go and click on create cluster and click on next you have to mention from the browse each node which you want to add into the cluster and let me tell you in advance that you need to have a fail over clustering feature installed on all four computers or all four nodes so i did install on first one which will be available and could be part of cluster let's go and see srv2 may give you and should give you and will give you an error because we did not install uh, fail our clustering feature on it so let's read the error message and note it down that what we supposed to do you can close your fail our cluster manager and go back into SRV2, not one, one is done. You can log into your second computer. And what you do here, you will install a fail our clustering feature on SRV2. So that could participate in cluster. So that was a basic requirement. Here in uh, server groups, I have added all of the four servers except the last SRV4 only. Here you don't need actually management tools in these remaining nodes because I'm not going to manage from uh, these three servers my cluster. So because this is a, just a learning purpose, if you want, yes, you of course can do in production if you want to manage failover clustering so if you don't want to expose your uh, clustering management uh, console so you simply can uh, use only one of the servers uh, uh, your management tools so on the back end on srv2 i'm installing failover clustering feature now i am in your srv3 so i'm going to install here same procedure same method i'm installing fail our clustering feature you have to be careful when you pick up a server from here otherwise nothing gonna happen except it will tell you feature is already installed so i am going to intentionally unchecking the box here for management tool which i don't need actually and let it go this is my fourth node srv4 where you can go add roles and features here you're not gonna see all other servers in the group so this is alone 
let it go install fail our clustering feature and click on next without management tools and click on install so let's go back into srv2 uh, not one one is already done so go to srv2 that should be completed now go to srv3 that should also be completed srv4 may be almost done because we just did it yes almost done so we have now fail our clustering feature available on all of these four nodes so there is no confusion very simple you simply can go back into fail our clustering manager console now you can create a cluster with no issues i can tell you now because we are on the network we have four nodes up and running and we do have a uh, feature which is actually uh, required to set up a cluster so keep in mind we are setting up a windows cluster now because what we need is just to look at sql always on high availability so if you have in in one server uh, a database in one sql server you want to replicate to the second as in the secondary server so we will talk about when the time comes here i am going to look for my second host now it should be available i don't like to type in i i like to browse actually so once you browse you have actually guarantee that you are uh, getting these hosts from your domain second is available let's let's test the third one and i'm sure that all four nodes are there up and running available so you do have the third one and the fourth one as well so we are good now we can click on next and we want to validate actually uh, all of the servers that if they are capable of having a cluster so here you just click on the next and next again and you have to choose now run the tests whatever you like selective or all so i am going to select uh, all of those tests and click on next review this screen if you want you can scroll down scroll up and you simply can read, read the categories and click on next and let it run uh, i will do a fast forward to have it done in maybe less than a minute uh, in real life yes you need to wait approximately from 7 to 12 minutes it depends on the environment so then you have to go through this all tests you will see uh, green everything is good red something is actually not good and uh, this exclamation yellow triangle that is a warning so you also can now review a report so click on view report to look at the report and this will open up uh, as an ie format internet explorer format you also can expand your full screen option so what we need to look at is from the result by category so whichever category you want to look at you just click on it on the top you will see that s or v1 to 4 you have available you see today's date and then you will see a validated option so this indicates that everything is actually well and good because uh, we are good to go and we are good to move forward but just to look at a category and storage i did not provision any storage because i don't need it for this purpose at this time but we will have actually uh, your uh, uh, always on role available under your roles option in into your fair ever clustering so those are actually uh, future videos here you just viewed or reviewed uh, this option from fair ever clustering by category you can close ie and you can also finish your uh, this visit for uh, testing your environment 
and continue with a cluster name so you need a cluster name which should be a o h a always on high availability underscore cluster and available ip what i have for cluster is 55 so let me show you the notepad where i had other four nodes and ips i'm using 50 is for my uh, domain 51 52 53 54 so those four nodes are ips are for the other four nodes so the available is right now is 55 so look at my text document where i was documenting this uh, before i started my video so i'm using the last row a o h a underscore cluster is actually 1.55 so i used the 55 ip for my uh, cluster ip address so now again you just wait until you have your new cluster available so what we need to do is once you finish you have to verify that you have all four nodes in which you actually browsed from active directory which you can see in the result page here these all four nodes are in review that review the warnings and ignore the warnings it will not be a roadblock so now you can go into the left side of the console and you look at under the nodes and you should see your all four nodes up and running so that was the end of this my video number one we will come back and look at video number two which will continue thank you for watching this video bye